Welcome to Furniture Industry News, the go-to source for professionals who are passionate about the ever-evolving world of furniture. Whether you're a retailer, manufacturer, designer, or just an aficionado of the trade, this podcast is tailored for you. In today's episode, we'll be diving into the latest trends rocking our industry and crucial business moves that are shaping our market. Join us as we explore inside stories from leading companies to innovative startups, breakthroughs in sustainability, and shifts in consumer preferences. Stay with us as we bring you the news that's making waves in the world of furniture. In a significant move that underscores the value of strategic financial planning, Big Lots has fortified its fiscal footing with an impressive new multi-million dollar loan facility. Through an affiliate of Gordon Brothers Capital, Big Lots has astutely enhanced its borrowing capacity by up to $200 million. It's important to note that this arrangement boosts the company's liquidity position in a substantial way and is complementary to the borrowing power it already wields through its current $900 million asset-based revolving loan facility. What we're witnessing here is not just an increase in financial muscle. This move provides Big Lots with greater agility in pursuing its ambitious commercial objectives. Last year, bargain penetration widely surpassed the 60% mark of Big Lots product mix, with extreme bargains playing a significant role. These primarily consisted of close-out merchandise buys that delivered extraordinary value to customers. Looking ahead, Big Lots projects an expansion of its value proposition, anticipating that a staggering 75% of its merchandise mix will be composed of bargains and an even broader selection of extreme bargains. The balance will consist of essential staple items, a strategy that promises to resonate well with a value-conscious consumer base. Moreover, Big Lots isn't just stopping there. The company is actively working to construct an impressive pipeline of close-out deals. And we're not talking small change here. The aim is to create annual deals surpassing $1 billion at original retail value, spread across categories like furniture, decor, and pantry essentials. But what does this mean for customers with deeper pockets? Big Lots is acutely aware of the varied needs of its customers, including those from higher income brackets. In its annual report, the company states its intention to continue to offer products with higher price points, with particular emphasis on its Broyhill branded home products. This approach emphasizes a balance between capturing the bargain hunting shopper and attracting those seeking premium home products. Big Lot's firm resolve to improve its financial footing is part of a broader turnaround strategy known as Project Springboard, launched in spring of 2023. The initiative targets at least $200 million in profitability enhancements, and the company remains steadfast on this trajectory. As for its immediate financial health, Big Lots has refrained from issuing full-year guidance for 2024 as of now. However, it has projected a decrease in its Q1 adjusted operating loss compared to last year, along with expected quarterly gross margin improvements. The trajectory set forth aims at a return to positive comp sales as the year progresses, with its Q1 results anticipated to be unveiled in early May. This is a decisive moment for Big Lots, one that illustrates the profound impact financial strategies have on retail operations and growth. By bolstering its liquidity and setting a clear course for merchandise expansion, Big Lots is positioning itself for significant growth within the competitive landscape of discount retail. In today's fast-moving retail landscape, the problem of excess inventory is a common story. But one Texas-based startup, Loop Deco, is transforming this challenge into an opportunity for sustainability. What makes Loop Deco stand out is their discreet approach to inventory liquidation. They understand that for retailers, particularly those with a focus on maintaining a premium brand image, the way they offload slow-moving goods is crucial. By discreetly moving items, they help protect the retailer's brand integrity, avoiding the potential stigma associated with liquidation sales. Roman Pennell, the founder of Loop Deco, has drawn inspiration from the fashion industry's methods of managing surplus stock. His company's mission is to keep furniture and home furnishings out of the waste stream. Directing excess items away from public secondary channels, Loop Deco helps retailers remove or resell bulk inventory via platforms, such as Facebook Marketplace, without attracting unwanted attention. Moreover, Loop Deco is stepping up as a partner in sustainability. 
By working with nonprofits, such as the Dallas Furniture Bank, they ensure that what's no longer needed finds a new life with those who need it most. Retailer partnerships also extend to offering branded removal services, effectively addressing the logistical challenge customers face in discarding old furniture before bringing in the new. It's not just about moving products out of the warehouse. Loop Deco is playing a critical role in fulfilling the industry's eco-responsible goals. Their aim is to reach a fully circular model where the vast majority of items picked up are reused and the rest are recycled, ensuring nothing ends up in a landfill, contributing to a more sustainable future. Roman Pennell has his eyes set on expansive horizons. While Loop Deco currently operates primarily in Texas, the aim is to span across major U.S. cities in the coming years. As they grow, Pennell plans to streamline the removal and recycling process through innovative product tracking and logistics optimization. Pennell acknowledges that building recognition as a startup is challenging, but the initial traction and positive feedback from smaller local retailers are promising. His vision encompasses not just growth for Loop Deco, but to also inspire a shift within the furniture retailing sector toward more sustainable practices. In a world where the consciousness around sustainability is growing, Loop Deco represents a beacon for the industry. Retailers not only have the chance to manage their surplus inventory smartly, but also to be a part of a change that is both environmentally conscious and customer-centric. This responsible approach could be a defining factor for the industry, setting a precedent that caring for the planet can also mean good business. Loop Deco's passionate pursuit of a waste-free industry is a story to be celebrated and a mission that's becoming increasingly resonant in a world where sustainability is no longer just a choice, but a necessity. In a significant move for the bedding industry, Asia-based omni-channel mattress company AI Dream has acquired the well-respected U.S. brand King Coil from its previous holder, a Malaysia-based investment company called KPS Berhad. While the financial terms of the acquisition were not publicly disclosed, this transaction is poised to bolster the domestic growth of King Coil, and at the same time, it provides AI Dream with lucrative expansion prospects outside of Asia. Founded in 2018 and joined under the stewardship of Singapore-based Hillhouse Investment in 2021, AI Dream has developed into a multidimensional sleep solution platform. Distributing globally recognized mattress brands such as Serta and Roof Betten, AI Dream has elevated its position in the market, particularly in Asia and Europe. The company's portfolio extends to mattresses, innovative bed frames, and customized bedroom solutions, signaling a comprehensive approach to the concept of sleep wellness. David Binky, CEO of King Coil, remarked on the development, stating their premium branding strategy, which focuses on exceptional design and innovation, has received international acclaim. This fresh capital influx from AI Dream is anticipated to provide King Coil with a springboard to fast-track their strategic decisions, accelerating the brand's expansion and footprint in the market. Echoing the sentiment, Sean Carney, the head of global investment at Hill House Investment, noted that AI Dream is equipped with both the strategic vision and the capital to support King Coil's path to further growth. Highlighting the acquisition as a pivotal step for AI Dream in scaling up its global presence, Carney's enthusiasm for the acquisition's potential is palpable. Meanwhile, KPS Berhad's leadership reflected on their period of ownership, acknowledging the considerable advancement King Coil has made in establishing itself as a luxury mattress segment leader. With the fresh ownership bringing extensive business experience and sector expertise to the table, KPS anticipates greater growth opportunities for King Coil, carving out a more vigorous trajectory for the brand, and creating lasting value for all stakeholders involved. This acquisition signals a new chapter for King Coil, aligning with AI Dream's broader ambitions to redefine the industry. As AI Dream integrates King Coil's market experience with its robust investment prowess, a new era in the luxury mattress sector appears on the horizon. It represents a synthesis of Eastern strategic investment and Western brand legacy, merging to reinvent the sleep experience on a global scale. Indeed, in an industry consistently striving for innovation and international reach, the acquisition by AI Dream demonstrates a forward-thinking approach, solidifying both AI Dream and King Coil's positioning in the premium segment of sleep solutions. It holds the promise of significant impact in the U.S., while simultaneously signaling the potential for AI Dream to extend its reach further into the international marketplace. 
As we look toward the future of sleep technology, we find ourselves at the intersection of innovation and comfort. The China International Furniture Fair, widely known as SIF, has always been a hotbed for the latest trends in the furniture industry. At this year's 53rd installation, it did not disappoint, particularly in the smart sleep sector. Enter DreamOcean, a subsidiary of Jikong Technology. At the fair, they unveiled a series of new smart adjustable bed frames. Not just a step, but a leap forward in the right direction, the AQB 400M model stands out with its four motors, a feature that's not commonly seen on the market. Imagine having personalized sleep settings that can adjust to the contours of your body, offering tailored support to your neck and waist, and even alleviate snoring habits. This level of customization brings the luxury of a bespoke resting experience into the bedroom. But what's truly compelling is DreamOcean's attention to both form and function. Their innovative offerings aren't just about improving sleep quality, they are also about fitting seamlessly into a user's lifestyle. With settings like anti-snoring and sleep aid modes, these smart beds could revolutionize the way we think about bedtime. Furthermore, square in the spotlight was Logic Data with its Cosmo series. Logic Data has been a trusted name in the market, and this time around they have doubled down on thoughtful design and market adaptability. Their new designs cater to consumer convenience with an easy-to-install approach and condensed packaging, an answer to the long-standing pain point of cumbersome assembly processes. The pairing of Jikang and Logic Data is a merger hailed for its synergy the meeting of Eastern manufacturing prowess with European design finesse. By combining forces, they're not just churning out products. They're creating an ecosystem of intelligent sleep solutions, aimed at not only improving rest, but also at elevating the quality of life. When we talk about the smart adjustable bed frames from DreamOcean and Logic Data, we are peering into a future where technology serves one of our most fundamental needs, a good night's sleep. It's an exciting time for the smart sleep industry, as new players like these push the boundaries of what our bedrooms can be. Sanctuaries of peace, recovery, and perhaps most importantly, smart living. As we continue our journey through the innovations reshaping the furniture world, this advancement toward smarter sleep solutions marks a pivotal chapter in the ongoing story of comfort and technology becoming one. With the lights dimming on another thrilling SIF showcase, the dream of better rest is not just a figment of our imagination, but a tangible reality we can each optimize and enjoy. Sustainability isn't just a buzzword. It's becoming a way of life for an increasing number of consumers, and the furniture industry is taking notice. Recent Consumer Insights now research on buying plans for the first half of 2024 brought some interesting revelations to light. Over half of the participants acknowledged their interest in sustainable products, with 10% going as far as to say it's a significant part of their lifestyle. For another 28%, the desire to be sustainable occasionally gets tempered by budget constraints, while 19% are dipping their toes into eco-conscious purchasing, eager to make a difference where it's practical. The data suggests that income does influence one's ability to prioritize sustainability over cost, with those earning $50,000 or more leaning more towards environmentally friendly options. Those earning less tended to regard price as the deciding factor, but the aspiration to choose green is there. About 62% of consumers at least sometimes consider the environmental impact when shopping for furniture. When it comes to what kind of sustainable furniture consumers are looking for, upholstery with sustainably sourced materials takes the lead. This is followed closely by occasional tables, mattresses, and area rugs. Even materials made from reclaimed wood or bamboo are being sought after for their eco-friendly qualities. So what does all this mean for the retailers? Here lies an opportunity. Educating customers about the sustainable products they offer, using labels and marketing materials to highlight the green benefits, could tap into this growing market segment. Retailers who provide a strong, sustainable narrative can satisfy the consumer's desire to contribute positively to the environment, even inspiring those who are on the fence about eco-friendly products. Good furniture retailers are not just salespeople. They are storytellers, weaving narratives around the products that create a compelling case for purchase. With the right approach and education— Retailers can take part in and benefit from the sustainability movement, appealing to consumers' growing awareness 
and helping guide them to make choices that are not just good for their homes, but for the planet as well. As this global consciousness grows, those in the furniture industry who adapt and provide viable, affordable green solutions are poised to thrive in a market that increasingly values the ethos of sustainability. Today, we're taking a moment to honor the legacy of a venerable player in the furniture retail space, Horton's Furniture of Wichita, Kansas, which, after 78 years of dedicated service, is bringing down its curtains. Founders Frank and Francis Horton laid the cornerstone of this iconic establishment in 1946 in Argonia, Kansas. From its humble beginnings, Horton's Furniture blossomed into a beloved community store known for its welcoming atmosphere and top-of-the-line furniture pieces. In 1968, the business moved to Wichita, where it expanded and became one of the area's largest showrooms. Steve Elpers and Dillman Morris, who have been at the helm since purchasing Horton's in 1997, have carried on the Horton legacy of customer care and quality service. Today, as both owners transition into retirement, they express heartfelt gratitude for the loyal customer base cultivated from Kansas to Oklahoma and commend their incredible staff for making Horton's Furniture synonymous with an exceptional shopping experience. As we discuss the end of an era, it's essential to recognize the significant role Horton's Furniture has played in the lives of its customers and the community. It has been more than a store. It's been a part of family stories, a purveyor of comfort, and a contributor to many homes' aesthetics. It is stores like Horton's that have enriched the local furniture industry with their personalized touch anchoring themselves in the memories of their patrons. To commemorate the storied history of Horton's and to celebrate its extensive contribution to the community and the industry, a grand liquidation sale will commence on April 25th. This final event promises to present the public with an array of high-quality pieces, reflecting Horton's enduring commitment to quality. From plush sofas to elegant dining sets, classic recliners to luxurious mattresses, Represented brands include the likes of Barca Lounger, Best, Bassett, and Vaughn Bassett, among others. The 55,000 square foot showroom is a treasure trove of craftsmanship waiting to be discovered one final time. Planned Furniture Promotions is overseeing the liquidation, bringing diligence and respect to the process, ensuring that even in its last chapter, Horton stands for the integrity and excellence that have defined its nearly eight-decade presence. In the shifting sands of retail, Horton's Furniture leaves behind a legacy marked by sustainability, community, and a standard of service that will remain a high bar for the industry. We salute the journey of Horton's Furniture, a true testament to enduring quality and service in an ever-changing marketplace. That's all for this edition of Furniture Industry News. Thank you for tuning in to our comprehensive rundown of the latest happenings from storefront closures to industry acquisitions and innovations in sustainable furniture. We hope the insights shared today serve you well in navigating the dynamic world of furniture retail and manufacturing. Keep up with the fast-paced changes in the furniture sector by subscribing to our podcast, where we bring straightforward, actionable information straight to your ears. Until next time, stay informed and inspired as you continue to shape the future of the industry.